Hi everyone, welcome to the next webinar in 12D's training webinar series. My name is Lisa Stewart and I'm the Marketing and Communications Coordinator here at 12D Solutions. 12D's training webinars showcase common industry challenges, taking a close look at industry best practices and how these can be implemented using 12D products. The aim of these webinars is to upskill 12D users and broaden their understanding of the capabilities of 12D products. We run these webinars regularly and record them for posting through our website and on YouTube. The previous webinars from this training series, as well as the webinars from our Industry Solutions series, are all available on our YouTube channels if you missed those. During this presentation, you'll be able to type your questions along the way. We'll put some instructions on the screen. We'll answer as many as possible of those throughout the webinar, and at the end, I'll read out your questions to the presenter if there's time. Today's webinar will be presented by Graham Worth, who is Product Sales and Marketing Manager for 12D Field, with responsibility for management, development, and channel creation of 12D Field services and products. Graham has over 35 years of experience in the civil construction industry and a wealth of knowledge of 12D model and other software packages. Today's presentation will review the improvements made to 12D Field in 12D Model 14. Set out and pick up have been combined into the one package to give the user more functionality, combined with a simpler user experience for all your survey needs. Pickup's new format enhances the user's ability to manage complex string or point attribute inputs to suit the needs of your clients. Setout has new functionality to further improve your productivity on site. Over to you, Graham. Thanks, Lisa. Good afternoon, everyone. Those on the East Coast, you're probably getting rained out and blown away, so hopefully you've had time to um, join us today, which is great. Yeah, today I'm going to talk about um, 12D Field version 14, which we combined so that set out and pick up uh, basically within the same option, separated. Um, one was using the old field file method and the other is a basically an instant uh, measurement. But in version 14, um, we've combined them as one. And this webinar looks at the changes and um, some of the features that go into it. We're focusing mainly today on um, 12D field SDR pickup. For those that are aware, or unaware, there's a um, there's a basic pickup and a an SDR. A previous video I've done or webinar I've done um, goes through the uh, the coding of SDR, but we'll touch on that again today as well. So, and obviously we're going to have a look at some of the other views, the, the settings that have been changed in version 14 to improve your um, user. Uh, functionality with a tablet and also there's a new function called segment set out and I'll have a, a quick look at that if there's time at the end of this presentation. So 12D field SDR pickup and I've got a screen capture here of uh, one of our um, original beta users, Bryce from, um, uh, from BCC Council. Um, which just shows the um, the setup for pickup. And you can see from this screen here, the advantages. There's an image in the background. Um, pickup is, panel is open on the left. And obviously there's a lot of um, hotkeys that are now available. So we're going to concentrate on the area that I've highlighted in the red um, shape there, which is pickup at the moment. And this allows us to have a look at the, um, rid of this thing over here. This panel here, which is um, the 12D field pickup codes panel. It's set out in a grid fashion so that the user can actually use his fingers rather than a pen to choose codes. So you've got the CD button on the left there, um, which is your code button. There's op codes, there's an undo button as well. And we've also got the um, the um, management of the strings as well. So you've got a code up the top there and you can actually uh, look at the uh, the current codes that have been used and 
uh, sorry, current strings that have been used and add to those as well. With the um, selecting of a code here we've got on the panel on the left, the user uh, chooses the CD button um, on the left and it opens up the, the code listing in the 12D field pickup codes file. In this case, we've selected GM and string number two. You can see from this also, you've got an increment and decrement and next um, string number in the, that has been used in this function uh, for, for doing the pickup. And there's the ability to do multi-coding as well. So once that is selected, um, at this panel um, comes up and gives you the choice of the, the different features. And there's, there's, you can have as many of those as well. For those that have a keyboard on their um, tablets, the numbers on the left of the co feature codes um, is all you need to press to actually call up that code as well. So that, that brings up the, um, the code listing there as well. This panel here is just ducking back from the last slide, shows us the, the feature code selected and we're going to choose the, um, the gas in this little exercise here. And that brings up the subdirectory of the gas um, feature codes. And you can see there, there's, you can have any number of different codes in there. And an advantage with this one, this is actually taken from the um, RMS uh, code library that's been put together by um, Michael Connor from Fulton Hogan and Mark Ferguson from EXDS, which shows the, the actual code in brackets on the left um, and a, a detailed description um, of the code uh, on the, uh, the button itself. So it makes it user friendly for the, um, for the users. And again, if you go to the next page on that gas, you can see that we're going to choose there the gas gas main or code GM. So we've got code GM picked in that panel, and there again I'll just stress that it's a this panel is a grid panel, so that the GM highlighted in blue is picked by the finger of the user rather than a pen. And down the bottom we've got a lot of different um, measurement options. Um, these are actually um, set up for all the different scenarios and they can be tailored to suit the, the user's needs. In this case, because I'm doing a, um, a demonstration, I've got these all basically in there. So there's the M for measure, M for um, MS for measure and store asking for attributes and the MR, which is probably the most used by um, users of 12D field pickup, which measures and records the last codes that were set for that code. Obviously you've got below that CM which is confirm measure, full screen confirm measure and uh, full screen measure and store and measure and record. Um, and the D button down the bottom there is um, reduces the panel down in size as well. But that said, those buttons that are highlighted in the red um, shape down the left can be put into hotkeys like um, most functions on in within 12D. And I'll go into these in a little bit more detail um, after this little PowerPoint. I don't want to um, produce a death by PowerPoint with everybody today, but there you can see there's a straight measure, the MS for measure and store, asking for attributes, uh, measure and record using the last attributes. You've got an undo button. You can pick a code from a hotkey. You can do the op codes from the hotkey offsets and obviously string plus and string minus. Another example down here is the one um, Bruce has used from, on BCC, which is the um, measure and store MS button in red and the MR button in, in gray, the offset and the plus and minus for your string numbers as well. The other thing that's coming in 14 is the ability to set from hotkeys the both prism types and your measurement styles. And you can actually see there, there's the a 360 degree prism, there's a circular um, reflectless measurement um, and all your search functions and your stop functions as well as that as, as well. But once you've taken the measurement on um, using the 
uh, measure button or the MS or the MR button. It comes up with the, the listing and you can see here that one of the nice features about 12D field is the ability to have um, multiple uh, choices and multiple preset uh, attributes. So in this case, the gas main, we're looking at a um, SUI survey here because it's got a quality level. So it's going for A, and you can see up in the right here, uh, here there's a drop down box and I'll go into this in a little bit more detail live in a, in a, in a moment. But these, are, these drop down boxes allow you through the pickup codes file to actually um, set up choices. So you've got your material, your size, your name of the surveyor, date um, and your utility owner and, and the status for that as well. So um, the and once you fill in those, you can obviously have all the, the details there and that's stored as attributes on each um, each line and segment that you um, that you pick up. So I'll just duck in now um, while I'm here to um, 12D field live if I can. Yes, there we go. So there's a few things that I wanted to show. We, we looked at those hotkey buttons before and just before I get started, I'll just um, duck into the to the hotkey bar. And for those that are unaware, this is a file called in your user direct stored in your user directory um, that allows you to set up the the hotkey buttons that we can see here on the, the left and the right. Um, excuse Windows is, just drops things out as I as I bring them in. And in this case, I've got to set out one. And you'll see there that this, this line here that is actually called point set out panel, that's actually um, setting up, but I'll actually choose this one down here because it's a little simpler. simpler. The command that is taken from a, um, the file called the uh, user keys, and I'll just bring this one up here. You can actually see that this measure over here on the left hand side for your hotkey bars, matches the command and in this file here um, we've got the the um, the measure as well um, and obviously with all of our 12d field files that Mick Gunter's set up he's put um, a double forward slash which gives a, uh, a description of what the command does so um, m measure is um, trigger a measurement on a TPS or a GPS instrument now those have been um, dramatically increased in 14. Uh, and I'm very thankful for, to Mick for doing that. Going down to here, we've got keys, the command to toggle between instrument styles. So we've actually got now in 14, the ability to have a hot key for changing between your single measurement, multi-phase, continuous and so forth. And you can actually um, set these up to, um, swap between your, your different instrument styles. You've also got down here commands for you, um, as we saw in a previous slide. Here I've got one, a command for a, um, like a circular prism, top cons, the trimbles, and obviously um, the, the user uh, prisms as well. Now you can also set these up and you've also got now your um, instrument positioning and your active panels um, with commands. So all of these options now, and you can see from this in the pickup mode, there's an enormous amount of um, new functionality within the pickup. And as we saw before, we had the uh, measure and the measure and store. Um, um, you can actually set up uh, multiple functions for um, uh, I'll just go down to the pickup panels here. And as you can see here, there's a there's actually a pickup measure because it's a different style of measurement to the um, set out and the pickup store and the measure and store ask it prompting for attributes, which is the MS on the, the panel and the measure and record using the predefined last attributes. So they are all the, the setups for the hot keys. Um, they're quite simple to do. Um, in this case, I've got a measure set up here on the left and that allows me to um, set up the hotkeys for all of those. That's enough on that. It's a pretty boring page that to look at. 
but here we just got the the new um, 12D field version 14 panel um, or toolbar, which allows us to have the menu. And you'll see from 14 in 14 now that the the menu is a lot smaller. So you're actually going straight into your sub menus in the station setup. You've got your details, um, the uh, standard and so you can actually go in and have a look and see what the last setup was um, set over station 21 and so forth um, you've got your checks you've got the full set out options in there including the one I'll talk about in a moment which is the um, set out string segment um, the pickup we've got both the pickups here so you can have the pickup STR and the pickup um, basic uh, as well uh, running separately, of course. You've got your settings, you reconnect and you shut down if you want that too as well. But the shutdown is up also up here as well. Some of the things I'd just quickly like to go into with um, before pickup is some of the functions that are nice within um, version 14. For instance, here under the project and those that have used 14 will be aware of it. We now have a settings button which allows us to predefine um, how we see uh, things on the um, on on the, the screen and gives you a, a lot more user friendliness with um, pickups they can be stored I've got two stored in here so if I call up Graham settings here and just select that and, re and read that in there you can see that I've actually set up and obviously if you want to create a new one you just type in the name up there and write the file out after you've done the settings. But a couple of things I've done here to make things nice is the view models. Um, and obviously when people are picking the plus button to add views, models to a view, um, they um, have trouble because obviously the, the lines are, or the model names are very close together so you don't want to. But in this case you can actually very quickly change the um, the width of the box if you've got long names, um, the the height of the um, plus or minus box and the most important thing that's coming in my opinion is the actual um, default row height. So when I actually press on here I can actually have a, a very large area to actually choose the models that I want to add um, as well which is a, a very nice feature. You can also um, put in favourites down the bottom here. I've got survey control and so forth in there and that allows you to very quickly type those up um, within that selection box. The other thing that has changed 12D field quite substantially is the ability to have the onboard screen. That comes in two versions, a full layout and a, a numeric pad which is and they're swappable between them and I'll show that in a moment. But you can also change the font size and the input font size of that as well, which I'll also demonstrate. So that's a that's a nice feature, and obviously you've got the the ability to um, manage that. You'll see up the top here the um, topmost buttons, as we call them. Um, your right mouse next, middle mouse next, and so forth. They can be placed in a lot of different areas, and so now under the project um, in the um, management area. You've also got the topmost toggle, the topmost buttons. I can switch those on and off. Um, but we can also, um, under the environment file, we can actually go into the GUI here and look at the topmost buttons. And you can see here now that this is, gives us the ability to, where do I want to position them, their side offset, their top offset, their button width, um, the button height um, and the gap between them and that obviously their transparency because if you want to actually put them over the top of something else you can change the transparency and that's a really really nice in, in innovation as far as as far as that goes. So I'll just put those topmost buttons back on again. They're up the top there now which is very good. So the um, Getting back to 12D field pickup, so under the menu pickup we've got pickup and we've got the STR pickup. This 
starts up the standard SDR or um, survey data reduction functions and you can actually use an existing one and if you've got um, functions in there that you can call up and add to previous surveys or you can choose a new one so you can create one. Now when you actually um, get delivered 12D you get the standard 12D field file and I'll just open that up down the bottom here um, and this is what it looks like as a file in the background and you can see there's uh, mixed usual um, descriptions and, and instructions in there but you'll see in here that the attribute definition file is um, is highlighted and it's the same principle for all of the 12D field one is on zero is off and you've got down here all your different tabs that you can actually have in this case in the standard one they're all turned on which is um, uh, makes for a, quite a, a comprehensive panel um, and allows you to um, look at that and I'll just start that with a new and so here is the panel um, that you see so it's got all the ability in there to um, choose your map file do traverses um, uh, some advanced features in there for your control model and so forth. But most surveyors want to get out there and do things as quickly as possible. So um, what having the that file, that standard file that you can actually edit, um, I'll just start that one more time and choose this other one um, and pick up STR and I'll just create a new one there um, and I'll choose the one that I've previously selected and bring that up down the bottom here as well in default 2 and you can see here that in this one under the attribute definition file description here I've actually put the file that I want to use for my pickup field codes file. Um, I've got a lot of things turned off down here as you can see. Um, in this case here the advanced control model um, I've left a space and then I can actually put in my control model so I don't have to actually punch that in. I can put in my uh, check model, my notes and so forth um, and it allows you to manage that and I've turned off most of the panels which allows you to um, preset your um, files. And you can have as many of these different files as you like depending on what you want. Again here the, the, the one for the map file to be used. This is um, the command in here and then I've left a space and then I've typed in my map file that I want to use in this panel. So that when you do that it actually allows you to, um, if I press the new there, it actually allows you and the panel is much smaller. Um, All I need to put in here is the, um, the, uh, the demo for the day, demo for 6A, so this is my function for the survey for the day and when I press enter it just fills in everything else and I'll just put in the GW406 for the um, for the prefix for all those models. So that's a much smaller panel very quickly and once you set that um, the panel comes up and it's and it's basically ready to go. Again here is the panel uh, that we were showing in the slides before you can choose a code. Um, I can press with I'm pressing with my finger now. You can actually bring things to the top. In a, I'm in the single mode up here, so we're just doing a single code at a time, um, and I'm doing the bottom better. Or I can call up the code, click on the um, the feature code button on the right hand side, and we can actually um, choose something like drainage. I'll pick a pipe here and um, I'll just um, put the um, the uh, string number in there. Again I'll just quickly show the the um, 12D um, keyboard that comes up. I can switch between um, numeric and um, full size if I wish. Again um, you've got the panel that I'm opening. See here's the string number. Um, so it shows you what what um, position you're in to to um, type in the information. So I can clear that, and I can go string number two there, and press enter, 
and string number two. So it, all you have to do is double click within the um, within the uh, box that you're looking to fill in and that comes up. So I'll just do that one more time to actually show you. I'll go to the numeric, um, I'll clear that because it's two up the top there. So I just hit the clear button, choose string number one um, and enter that and where that box is filled out. So it's a, a quite a, um, a nice um, keyboard, you know, a virtual keyboard for um, for use on tablets. So when I press that, it comes up with this single code and I've got um, string number one for stormwater. And you can see here on the left, we've got a another column or another column in the grid that actually um, highlights the code that I'm currently using. Um, we can actually, uh, within the um, favorites listing or your um, what we call sort of a template 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 format and we can actually choose single or favorites or escape so I'll just um, stick with a single just for the moment and once I take a measurement to that point um, I'll just go measure and store here obviously with 12d field nice features that checks your pole height um, for you and it brings up this panel that allows you to choose. So here I've chosen a stormwater pipe, the material I want to use. So um, going into the um, 12D field pickup codes file, um, you can have the um, preset your um, your materials, your size. So in this case, it's a, a diameter, but you can actually do a culvert um, and the diameter is a real value. So I can um, Double, double click in there and it'll be a two meter pipe um, and enter that. So that just adds that in there. If I was doing a culvert, it, you've got the string height in this area here, which uh, allows you to, or you can actually, and you can also have comments, um, permanent comments. I've got one set up here for a wall thickness if you wish that to do that, but you can also um, hopefully set that in, in the future in a, um, in a uh, as a permanent option and we'll continue that so that's now taken that measurement and I'll just because I'm using a simulator here please bear with me I'm just going to actually um, take that out and I'll just move this out a little bit and we'll um, uh, repeat measure there and I'll just pick that and so that's now showing the joined line um, that's where I'm standing at the moment and I can go measure and record now which is this button down in here or as the hotkey on the left hand side here um, I can pick that one there and that'll pre-fill out the um, last and you've basically got your um, pipe drawn there and it allows you to um, just continue so if I um, repeat measure there again um, it highlights the last string as well and I'll go uh, measure and record and that allow, allows you that um, that pipe there as well. So that's the um, the single measure. In the background of pickup we've also got a lot of different functions. We can actually um, have a look at the, um, the field file and see what's going on in there. Um, you can do some uh, edit commands in there while you're running through it. You can see here that we've now picked up the stormwater and we've got all the um, the attributes that are attached to that as well. So that allows you to, um, to look at those. You can um, add audio notes onto points. You can um, add attributes. There'll be a future hopefully for um, shapes to be extruded and you can also take a photo uh, with a tablet as well. Um, I can also change um, this. If I go back to the pickup codes, I've got these codes in here now um, as the uh, as as singles, but I can actually store those away. So you can be using your single codes, um, duck into your other, and then swap single to favourites. Now I can save that away as um, GW um, 0406. Um, demo file so I can actually put that in there and save that away and we can call that up as a favorite later on if we wish or you can actually set a favorite so um, I've got 
numerous here because I do a lot of um, demonstrations, um, but I've set one up for today and I'm going to choose this, this demo one. So this allows me to actually have a favorites file for doing um, specific types of work. So that's been loaded now. And if I get swapped to the singles, we can actually see that I've got the, um, the favorites running there as well now. So I've got that bottom of bank, road shoulder, crown, shoulder right, bottom of bank. Now that's okay, I can step through those, they're individual. You can see it's highlighting bottom of bank as the, as the um, current one. Or I can go to um, how do I want to pick these up. So if we can go forwards, backwards, um, unusual survey term, zig and zag. So I'll choose the zig in this case. And then we can actually see here that I've got an X for the um, current point and I've got a zero um, for the for the next string coming up in the list. Now in the other um, settings button here with 12D field pickup, you can actually change what you want. You can see in here I've got the um, current position indicator as an X and the next position indicator as a as a zero. You can also call up a favorite and you can actually disable them as well. You've got your grid font size. Um, so if you've got big fat fingers like me, um, your row size um, and your your last used code. So you can actually store in this case up to 15 um, different codes will stay on the list, but that's a user definable number. And obviously by your screen size, you can actually uh, manage that as well. So going back to pickup, we've got this favorites. And if I just um, um, put the instrument over here um, and I'll do uh, a, a measure and store asking for the attributes for that. Um, there's nothing here, so I'll just continue and set that. The first one you have to actually set it up. Um, and the second one, you can see it's jumped down to the road shoulder now. So I'm just going to pick up that point there um, and measure and store that one. And on this case, I've got a material. So the shoulder, um, what type of material is it? It's, um, it's bitumen on that side and set and continue that. Um, it's now in the crown of the road. I'll pick up that one. Um, and measure and store that one. And again, I've got the material here for the bitumen. Set that first one. And it's now going to the other side of the road. And I'll measure and store that one again. Okay, and I'll pick up bitumen, continue. And the, the bottom of the bank. I'll do another spot over here and measure and store for that one as well. And continue. Now, so you can see here because I've chosen the zig option up here, it's actually now reversed in the direction. So basically, um, if I just pan this over, excuse me for a moment. So we've got a little bit more room over here. Um, it's reversing that direction. So we can see there that the current position is the bottom of the bank in, in this area here, and the next will be the road shoulder. So basically I can just repeat measure there, pick that point there, um, hit measure and record, and it records the last. So I can just go now and it's pointing at the next in the, the list. So choose that one, measure and record. Um, choose the next position or walk over to the next position, measure and record, um, go to the next one, measure and record, no, simulators are drive you mad, um, go to the next position, measure and record, And you can see now it's reversed again because we're doing the, the zig format. 
and you can see it's highlighting that last one. So it, it gives the user the ability to actually see very clearly where he's at, what he's got to do, um, and and so forth, um, and measure and record. So I can actually, um, while I'm doing this, I can actually go back to the singles um, and choose another code. Uh, for instance, I may want to do a um, a drainage and do a manhole um, and put that at zero. Okay, and I'll just position that in there and measure and store that because I'll be asking for the attributes and it's asking me in my case here, what's the depth of that? Um, set and continue, um, go back to the um, favourites and you can see that I'm actually um, still running through that. Um, so it's highlighting the next point um, and I can continue on for that and measure and record for that last one. So it's very intuitive the way it actually um, picks everything up um, and it's now back onto the, uh, the, the, the favourites mode again, measure and record that as well. And I'll just finish the last one off here so we can finish that. And measure and record that as well. So that's um, a little bit of a demo of the functionality within Pickup. So as you can see, it's very quick, very easy to use. Um, it's very comprehensive as far as your um, codes go. Um, you can switch quite simply between the um, single and the favourite. So I may now want to actually um, pick a spot over here, turn, walk over to here. I've got a um, code, for instance, I might want to pick up a uh, some vegetation. Um, in this case, I'll do a tree. Um, obviously that string, double click in there and that brings up the numpad, clear, zero, zero, enter, yep. Um, and pick that up as well, it's okay there. Um, take a, a measure and store there and it'll bring up the, um, what species do I want? I want a, a palm tree because it should be a nice day outside. Trunk size of one, foliage size of say 15, it's pretty wide and a height of um, 10, um, set that and continue and we've got a nice tree in there as well. So it gives you the ability to, to manage all of that. Some of my codes are a little bit um, pretty, shall we say, but obviously there's multiple different pickup codes files out there that you can actually have that allows you to um, see uh, all the codes that you want. You can actually, um, one of the features within 12D field to get you started is under the field codes file, you've got actually in here your map file uh, to pick up codes. So if you've got an existing map file that you want to um, change over, and obviously most surveyors have several of those depending on their clients, you can actually um, convert that over and then manipulate that um, pick up codes file editor. I'll just quickly show you the pick up codes editor in here. The one I'm using today is this um, pick up codes, which was um, originally put together by uh, a new starter with us or a re returned starter, Noel Burton. Um, and uh, hang on, I'll just cancel that. I'll just read that file. And it gives the ability to here, and we did a pipe before, so I'll just show that pipe there and bring that in there with the, um, the ability to set that up. So you can have all your codes, they come as um, feature codes. Uh, you can have many different choices. You can have headers, footers, opcodes, and the so forth to actually manage your um, your details and your, your details survey. But here under the pipe, it's a feature code, as we can see here, and I'll just do this in a PowerPoint presentation in a minute to, to reaffirm that. Um, you've got the material, so it's obviously you've got your 
choices in here, your shapes, your size, your height and so forth. And they're just children underneath that feature code. Quite simple to set up, but once it's set up, you can have many of those, you can edit them, you can actually delete and change and copy things from uh, one place to the next as well. So I'll just finish that. And that's a little bit about the um, 12D field pickup. Um, one of the other features that I um, wanted to actually show with this was the the um, ability to um, set the favourites as far as the favourites go. You can actually um, put them into three different areas. I've got them in the local drive here, the customer library, and also the user library. So you're allowed to um, put those in all different spaces as well. So I'll just finish that now. Um, save and finish and we've got that as well. Um, the other thing is we've now finished that, but I can actually also, while I'm doing a pickup, um, and I'll just fire this up again, pick up SDR. So it's very quick to jump back into it, set it and we're away again. Um, but I can also, while I'm here, um, and I'll just move this position, this instrument position over to here somewhere. We can also, and I'll just close that down because it's getting a little crowded. I can also run at the same time a, a 12D field set out function. So in here we've got the um, change and I'll do, double click in there and I want to set out change uh, 230, 230 enter, oops not that, sorry, clear, 230 enter um, and I want to do uh, minus 10 and uh, you can see here that we've actually got the set out position um, highlighted and we can actually just take a, uh, a measurement at that point while we're still setting out with the 12D field. Um, choose that as well and it gives us the um, information down here to that, that um, position that we're setting out. So you can actually do both at the same time now which is a really nice um, feature within the, the, the pickup. Um, the other option that I'd like to show today, uh, because we're fast running out of time, is the um, set out of the segment. And I'm just going to call up that simulator position again. Sorry, picked the wrong option there. TPS, position the TPS. I'm just going to put it down in here. Uh, X, Y, Z. I'll put it down here somewhere. And we'll zoom into this, this area here. You can see here it's already started to set out from what I had set up beforehand. Um, the segment set out is a really nice feature. So we can actually um, pick the segment that we want to set out. So you can see that's now highlighted that segment of the building there. Um, it's, if I'm going to set out here, um, I want to set out uh, change one, clear. I'll do two, enter. And you can see it's now setting out two along that line there. If I wanted to go off the end of that point, we can have an offset there. Um, of one for instance and it shows us that position of one. Um, I can actually go the opposite direction, go minus two, um, enter and now it's actually sitting out two metres off the end um, which is something that is um, been wanting within 12D field for a while. Um, so it's good you can choose those segment positions by the start point and the end point. So you can actually just create a line and you can have a different level modes for those as well. No levels, your grade between point one and point two, your level off your first point or your second point. So you've got all those different functionalities in there. 
Uh, you can change your um, segment colour that you want to set out um, and it shows the eastings and northings and it's got all the, the same features that we have within 12D for your measurements and you can use your measurement keys as well. So that's a little bit with segment set out um, and I'll just finish that there and I'll just actually bring back up this, um, this PowerPoint because I'd like to just um, reiterate if I can some of the um, the points with pickup. So we have the two types of pickup within 12D field. We've got the basic pickup and the um, SDR pickup. So the 12D field has evolved obviously through user inputs and in user consultation requests. There's been a lot of hard work bringing the two together in um, version 14, particularly by uh, Michael Gunter and I um, should also mention Alan Gray, he's been um, very uh, instrumental in bringing the two together with Mick. The set, the set out's basic pickup option um, is just that, it's basic. Um, it allows you, it's been put in there primarily to do pavement conformances um, and, and some and basic types of pickups construction conformance surveys and so forth with low attribute requirements. And as you can see from the, the demonstration I did there of the SDR pickup, you can have multiple choices for your um, attributes for each of your feature codes um, and quickly update those. And this has been um, very uh, instrumental in the way that the attributes are stored, particularly for things like um, SUI and, and underground services. So SDR versus pickup. So the SDR pick 12D field pickup has evolved from the 12D's original survey data reduction and the map file combined. So it's obviously it's it's not basic, but it's very comprehensive. It's designed to provide live in the field um, detailed surveys. Um, with line styles, symbols, and most importantly, the attributes that are stored on the end of that. Um, you have infinite user attributing, so you can have as many attributes predefined on there as you want. You can, um, uh, using the 12D field codes file to actually manage those. Um, it links obviously with the codes and it uh, must be important, must be uh, noted that they, the field codes and the map file um, need to match in their key style. Um, and it's got the option to select rather than typing um, the information into a box. Uniformity across the coding, so it gives you the ability to manage that. And the purpose of the pickup codes file is to manage the survey features and opcodes. And again, we, we ducked in and had a quick look at that. And I'm just going to have a, a bit more detail in this. So you have the options here um, under your feature codes of different types. So you can actually have the feature codes and you can also utilize within the pickup field codes, um, opcodes and they can be set up as, as hot keys as well. So that's got the opcode option in there as well. The purpose of the pickup codes file is to enable the user to define attributes using uh, many functions and tools to, str to streamline the survey. So here within the uh, this one here, I've got a an abutment picked and you've got the material. So we saw the first choice was a feature, which we saw in there, which is the abutment feature. But in this, this case, as a sub-child using the, the, the child button, we can add actually add in a SDR material. So in this case, um, I'm using a choice box um, and the material, and we're going to actually have a choice down there. And down the bottom there, you've actually can input your different choices. So it allows you to do that. So you've got the choice um, and uh, you can set up a, a choice box list. Another purpose is to enhance the map file whilst allowing the user to add um, in-field attributes 
of the surveyed objects using predefined attributes. So in here, you've got the, um, the map file and you've got the, um, the pickup codes file as well and they are intrinsically linked between each other. So you've, you can see in here, the, in the map file, you've got the prompt, um, in the pickup codes file, sorry, you've got the prompt string material. And then you've got in the map file, under the string, you've got the um, string diameter. So these names are intrinsically linked between the two, so that you, um, you can actually utilize the string to to manage the size and so forth of the pipe string material material and so forth um, another purpose is to enhance the map file allowing the user to, to create in real infield real strings um, of the say, surveyors objects using predefined real-time sizing and justification this is where I was looking at it, the, the last slide, sorry. So in here, you've got the um, string diameter or dollar SW, so that's your code for stormwater and the SDR diameter. And when we bring up the um, pickup field codes file, you've got the child of the feature pipe as string diameter. It's a prompt string diameter and it's a real real value in there. And here you can see it's in your uh, map file under your pipes, string, you've got the same terminology in string diameter. Purpose again is to allow the users to set predefined string vertex and segment attributes or input whilst undertaking the survey. So when you're actually putting in data, data you can actually add in um, here I want to put a message pick up obvert um, onto the as a default message so the message will pop up in the box obvert um, on the vertex um, and you've got the choice there the vertex the next segment string or prompt and so forth so it allows you to to manage the input of the data there so in 12d field pickup codes you've got the um, adding a feature, you've got the children of the feature, you've got the ability to um, add a sibling, add a child, sorry, um, delete, move listings up and down and copy and paste um, different attributes and so forth. So you can actually set one up and repeat that functionality across a lot of them. And then it's obviously written away to uh, your file that you obviously nominate there. You can have one, many, um, and read them in as you're bringing in your read, or read and write them as you're bringing into 12D field. Some of the rules, the map file key and the pickup feature code uh, must match. Um, so you've, here you've got a feature code of abutment and the output is the BAR, BRA and it, obviously your you know, in your map file, you've got that same same value within that as well. So that's about it for me for um, 12D Field version 14. It's a little update. There'll be more coming in the near future. Um, any questions or um, comments? Thanks for that, Graham. Um, I think we're, we're getting a little bit close to time, so I, I won't do a live question session this afternoon, but I'll um, email you through a couple of questions and comments that have come through. Yeah, the, please um, throw them at me. Sure. The recording of today's webinar will be available in coming days through our website and our YouTube channel. We've got more exciting webinar topics coming up in the second half of 2019, so keep an eye on our emails and social media for details. And if you need to contact us in the meantime, our details are on the screen now. That concludes our presentation for today. Thank you all for attending, and we hope to see you at future webinars. Thanks very much. See you.